Hey, what is going on there guys, Nick here from Absolute MTG, and today we are going to be talking about something that I feel like a lot of people have been having questions about, and that is, what happens to the actual standard structure and the way the rotations work come Battle for Zendikar, and just in general, what's going to happen whenever Battle for Zendikar is actually released. So, the first thing to understand is, what do we actually have in the standard format right now? Well, right now we have M15, Theros, Born of the Gods, Journey in the Nyx, Cons of Tarkir, Fate Reforged, Dragons of Tarkir, and Origins. So, we have a lot of sets right now. Now, whenever Battle for Zendikar comes in, Theros block, uh, consisting of Theros, Born of the Gods, and Journey in the Nyx, as well as M15, are going to be rotating out. And what we have from there for the standard format is going to be the entire Khans block, so Khans of Tarkir, uh, Fate Reforged, and Dragons of Tarkir. We're going to have Magic Origins and Battle for Zendikar. So all of this happens whenever Battle for Zendikar is... Uh, actually released. So those are the sets that we're going to have in standard. Now, what actually happens from here? So the next set that is going to be released is Oath of the Gatewatch. So whenever that set is released, nothing happens. Nothing rotates out. You don't have to worry about anything. However, after that point, whenever the next following set, which is codenamed as Tears, comes out, then we are going to lose Cons of Tarkir and Fate Reforged, but otherwise we keep the remaining sets that we listed off. Uh, from there, Fierce comes in, codename Fierce, which doesn't actually have a set name, and uh, nothing is going to change from there. The next set that comes out after Codename Fears is Codename Lock. So at this point, this is where we have another rotation that's actually going to occur. So at this point, we have... Battle for Zendikar, we have Oath of the Gatewatch, we have Tears, Fears, and we have Lock. And following Codename Lock comes Codename Stock for Magic Sets. So it's pretty easy to see now that it's not really as confusing as to how our rotations are actually going to work. Basically, at any given point in time, we're going to have as many as six different sets in the standard format. Once a seventh one comes in or would attempt to come in, we have a rotation and the oldest two actually go and fall out. So I hope this quick explanation helped you guys in understanding how the rotation structure is actually going to work from Battle for Zendikar and onwards. And if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more informational videos, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more Magic the Gathering content. You can follow Absolute MTG on Facebook, facebook.com slash Absolute MTG, and on Twitter at the Absolute MTG. And if you guys want to support the channel, you can also check out our Patreon link, patreon.com slash absolute mtg thank you guys again for watching and until next time peace out